Well, good morning, everybody. We got the canoes all, or the kayaks all loaded up in the back of the truck. And we're gonna go to Cypress Springs off of Holmes Creek. It's down in Vernon, Florida. We're gonna put in at Culpeper Landing. All the canoe liveries are normally shut down at this time of the year. End of September is when they normally shut down. So I don't think there'll be as many people at the landing or at the springs today. But uh, we'll check it out and see. Their temperature outside is 68 degrees right now and it's supposed to get up to 70 for the high. And you know the water's always around 68 degrees there at the springs. So I don't know if we'll make it swimming or not, but we'll, we might, I don't know. We'll check it out. But anyway, come along and enjoy the ride with us. Well, this is Culpepper Landing. We're getting ready to put in. Here's the boat ramp. And they even have a life jacket loaner station here, so you gotta have them, so make sure you bring them. And if you don't, they got some here for now. Today, we'll be traveling up Holmes Creek to Cypress Springs. Holmes Creek is a beautiful creek. It has over 50 verified springs off of it, which makes it a good place for snorkelers and kayakers and canoers and fishing too. Off we go. Yes, the water is cold. I don't know if we'll be swimming or not. This may just be a kayak trip without swim. Be a nice trip to look at the water though. There's the Cypress Springs. And there is absolutely nobody in Culpeper parking lot except us and one other boat that we pulled up right after we pulled up. And that's it. There's probably more people at the other landing, but I did notice that one of the canoe liveries up this way looked like it was still open. There was cars out there, but I'm not sure. Regardless, there wasn't a lot of people. Because their website says they're not open right now. And this is a public landing. Got kind of little places you can swim and jump off of and <clears throat> all that. And it hasn't been raining a lot down here, so it's clear. The water's good and clear. You gonna get up enough nerve to jump in? You are? <laughs> okay. I don't know if I am. I'm at the point where I got more brains than nerves. <laughs> now, Culpeper Landing is south of Cypress Springs. And I blink the other one is called Cotton Landing. I can't remember. I didn't. I looked it up on the map, but I have forgotten the name of it. We always go up there when we put in because it's above spring and you can just float down to the spring but that's where most of the uh, liveries would drop you off for the longest for the longest kayak ride if you use one of the liveries and it's it's the longest point it's the longest point uh, to get back down to the bridge and burn probably seen Cypress Springs before on videos or pictures. You may have been to it. It's one of the most beautiful springs in Florida. And it's not accessible by land. It used to be, but a company bought the rights to the property of the land. It's a water bottling company, Nestle Water Bottling. So now the only way you can get to it is by boat. And mm, there's a lot of boats that go back here. So pretty out here. 
you be sure you bring plenty of sunblock, if, even if you come in the colder part of the year, because Florida is the sunshine state, and you will still get a sunburn. I don't know if I mentioned it, but also coal pepper landing is being that it's below <clears throat> Cypress Springs, you're going to be paddling upstream against the current. And it's doable. And I don't know about after a big rain. If it's been raining a lot, I don't know that I would. I'd probably come in from cotton. Cotton landing, whatever it's called. <clears throat> but it's not too bad now. And cold pepper because it's not been raining that much. It rained this week, but it wasn't a lot. It was a slow rain. We didn't get a whole lot. I'm on the sit on top kayak, and my daughter, she's up there on the sit in kayak. I love that little sit in pelican. It maneuvers so much easier than the sit on top. A lot of speed and stability is really good. This water is just so, so clear. You got to see it with your eyes to appreciate it. The video just ain't, don't do it justice, neither do pictures. Are you stuck? We'll turn around. Yeah, the water is really clear. <clears throat> I mean, you can see all the way to the bottom. Still got that. Stuff from the trees of Tannin, Tannis. It's always called Tannis. Anyway, it's the uh, stuff that comes off the out of the leaves from the trees. It turns the water it almost looks like a muddy color. And some places it gets really yellow, really, really yellow. But there's so much water coming from Cypress, the spring of Cypress that. It's pretty clear down on the creek. It's a pretty sunny day. Cloudy, but the sun's out. That's a good thing. Almost to our turn up here. If you're coming from Pole Pepper Landing, <clears throat> you'll take a ride out of the landing, out of the boat ramp. You go upstream. Um, well, I don't. It's not real far. I can't remember. Really. It's not. It's not probably even half a mile through a couple of curves in Holmes Creek and then there'll be a, a sign up here on the left. There's a couple of signs nailed to a tree <clears throat> and it flies off to your left and that's where you turn to go back to where Cypress Spring begins. You'll know it when you get there. Just look for the clearer water coming, coming out from the uh, left side of Holmes Creek. You can see the water, see how clear it is. We're not even in the spring yet. We're still on the creek. You can see all the way to the bottom. And right up here, you see a couple of signs on these trees right here. There's like warning signs, no trespassing signs. That's just for the property. That's just for the dirt, the land, so they don't get up there on the land, but right here is your turn. There's a tree, I don't know if you can see it, there's a tree up there with a white, with some white paint on it, like an arrow. And you can turn on that side of this little island in the middle that I'm, that you're looking straight ahead at. Or you can turn right here. You can pass this little island, or you can turn right here. 
and this is it. This is where you go back to it. I'll point it down at the water so you can see that crystal clear water. <clears throat> Again, this is where the Nestle Bottling Company gets some of their spring water. I can't remember how many thousands of gallons they take out of here a day, but it's quite a bit. I would rather be here looking at this water than looking at beach water. Just my opinion. It's so pretty. It's so clear. I mean, you, you got to watch out for gators here. Hey, you got to watch out for sharks and uh, jellyfish. Yeah, <laughs> stingrays. Yeah. Well, uh, actually, you do have to watch out for gators at the beach, too. I saw them at the beach. I saw uh, one here. I've seen two different videos recently. I wonder what those blue strings are tied up there for on all those, on all those cypress stones. See them? I mean, those white and blue stripes right? strings. I don't know what that's about. I wonder if they're surveying with some kind of surveying, huh? Green. It's like green little lily pads under the water. Under, right under you. Right here? Oh, I see them. Uh, when you come out into this opening, there is some people here. Like I said, there usually almost always is, unless you come during the winter. But usually, Usually, usually that area up there where you see that boat that's parked up there, there's usually boats all the way around, all the way down to this to this tree, like right over in here, and they can be they can be all the way back, they can be all the way back over here, they can just be wrapped around this place. And you like you want to get in here to you know, bring your family and maybe swim and you can't on the weekend during the summertime and spring when it starts to warm up any of that time all the way into the beginning of fall there'll be so many people in here you can barely even park your park a kayak side by side and uh it's just it's just amazing to me that that many people come back here <coughs> on a boat
Tell me where you're gonna find water that blue. You're not gonna find water that blue at the beach. Time to go. We had a good time here at the springs, and that water was cold, but it was actually it felt warmer than the air temperature. I don't know why it feels that way. I guess maybe it's just psychological. Because during the summertime, it's like it feels so much colder. Actually had to stay in the water to stay warm but um, anyway it was fun had a good good time there swimming so we're just head back to cold prepper landing and since it's downstream we can float downstream and not have to paddle so much had a few more people than what I thought would be here, but it was nothing like the crowd that's normally here. As you can see in some of those underwater video I did, which I know they weren't super clear because I was doing it with my phone, but, but as you can see, it was pretty, pretty clear and blue under there. I don't know what makes that water so blue, but it is, it is just beautiful. So we're heading back. Call it a day and we're kind of getting a little hungry. We got to find some food to eat. We didn't bring any with us. So what did y'all think of that? How'd you like that water? But do you know of anywhere else that has water this clear around here other than you know Ponce de Leon but this much water Cypress Springs has got to be the biggest one around here <clears throat> as far as springs go which way you want to go that way or the other way okay I'm just gonna drift down that's what I was that's what I was gonna say you ain't really got to even do nothing but just steer we can do that. <laughs> Hi. Y'all going to the spring? Huh? You going to the spring? Just go that way, right around that way. You'll run right into it. You'll know it when you get there. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. It's cold, you're gonna get in the water? <laughs> it's actually warmer. The water's probably warmer than the air temperature to me. As long as you don't get your head wet, at least. To see, pe see people coming that have never been here before and getting to see it for the first time is just, it's just amazing, it's fascinating to see that color and clear clarity of the water. I mean, it's clear all the way down to the bottom. 
and being that clear you don't you can't tell how deep it is it looks shallower than what it is but it's not in the middle it's really deep i'd say it's probably 20 foot deep in the middle 15, 15 or 20 at least <clears throat> so therefore we went in Again, you can look way over there on that tree. And there's an arrow. You can see it. That can come in from Culpeper. There's an arrow that tells you where to turn. It don't say Cypress Springs or anything, but that's where you turn. And then if you're coming from the other direction, on the opposite side of that tree, coming from uh, Cotton Landing, the Cotton I don't know why I can't remember the name of that one. But coming from above the spring, I think there's an arrow on the other side of that tree. But you'll know it when you get here because the water will be really bluish and clear coming out of there. So it'll be hard to miss. And usually there's plenty of people coming down that have been through here. And somebody will know it. You know, yeah. Of course, you can always use Google Maps. It's on Google Maps. And if you have Apple Maps, I don't know. It probably is on Apple Maps. I'm an Android guy myself. You probably won't find a more relaxing creek to go down than Holmes Creek around this area. It's wide, it's deep, it's cold, it's clear. There are more people on it. <clears throat> and that's because of all the cold springs that are in this area. What you want to eat, Brooklyn? Hamburger? I want something besides junk food. I don't want no junk food from the gas station. <laughs> See all the moss growing on the side of the tree. You could just paddle right up underneath it. Go right through it. Okay, we're back to our destination, as Google says, you have reached your destination, huh? What's it for? It's like a, it almost looks like a slide, don't it? Yeah, it's that, it's that AstroTurf. I don't know that I would slide down that. I don't really know what that's for. I've seen it, I've seen it before. about <laughs> but anyway what? I said I don't know what that was all about but anyway I'm about the boat well we're back yeah we've reached our destination this is this is Culpeper Landing the boat ramp for Home Your Creek blew up. one of the boat ramps for Home Creek <laughs> what'd you say <laughs> you ain't showing out Showing out with his bass boat. Sound like he's having some issues a little bit there. Yeah, that's what that was. That was a nice, that's a nice boat ramp though. It's got a nice dock, walk around, pier, whatever you want to call it, boardwalk. can be pretty busy during the summer. I have I haven't 
put in here before, but I've come past it plenty of times coming down Holmes Creek. And every time I've came by it during the summer, there's been people at it putting in or taking out, so it's pretty busy. But it's got a big parking lot, so that's why a lot of people come here other than the other one, Cotton Hill, or Cotton Creek, or whatever, Cotton Landing, whatever it's called. I may be, I may not even have the name right, but the one that's north of here, it's, it just doesn't have a lot of parking. Anyway. Well, we had a great time here at Culpeper Landing and down at the uh, Springs today. It was really nice. Uh, the water wasn't really that bad considering as cold as it is. It kind of had to stay in the water but to stay warm, but it was it was nice. Uh, there wasn't a lot of people. And again, Culpeper Landing is is a nice place to put in a boat. Got a nice boat ramp. It's real nice. So if you're thinking about coming down here and you're wondering where to put in at, you can check out Culpeper Landing. It's it's in Vernon. You can look it up on the map. And uh, I think you'll be satisfied with this place. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll try it again next time. Come back, and if you like this video, please share it, like it, subscribe it, all that good stuff. And thanks for watching, mostly. <laughs>